officers with the Sarasota Police Department are searching for weapons that were stolen from two cars. Police say handguns were stolen in two separate burglaries in the last month and believe the crime could have been avoided if the gun owners had done one simple thing. ABC 7's Erica Jackson joins us live from a neighborhood where one of those burglaries took place. Erica? Good evening. I'm at Bay Point Park where many neighbors are concerned after learning a gun was stolen from a truck at the end of April. But police officers say those neighbors wouldn't have to be worried if the gun owner simply locked their car. Why is it unlocked and why is it in the front seat and why isn't it in a safe somewhere? Michael Hagen has some questions for his neighbor a few blocks down. That neighbor left his car unlocked and Sarasota police say on April 29th, his car was burglarized and a gun stolen from the center console. Guns have a way of finding their way into hands when somebody has a fit of rage. And I would guess that most people use it in the wrong situations, wish they hadn't. SPD has already responded to 129 car burglaries since the start of the year. Exactly 100 of those cars were left unlocked. Police are searching for another gun stolen from a car on Friday behind Morton's Gourmet Market. The victim told officers he discovered his cell phone and loaded handgun missing after leaving the car unlocked for eight hours. It's one thing if you lose a phone or a laptop, but you lose you lose a gun which could be used in a crime later in the day, you, you probably should keep better attention on that. Sergeant Bruce King says although the gun owners left their vehicles unlocked, they are still victims. He encourages those impacted by similar crimes to contact law enforcement immediately. It's, it's really important that you report the gun stolen so that we can get uh, start an investigation, hopefully locate the gun, um, hopefully get them off the streets before they, they are used in a crime. Now Hagen is tightening up security around his home with cameras and an alarm system, but is still concerned that it took more than two weeks to find out about the burglary. I don't know if this is um, the police issue or is this an issue in the neighborhood that somebody decided not to broadcast it. Police tell us both of the victims own their guns legally and neither will be charged for leaving the weapons in their cars. Reporting live in Sarasota, I'm Erica Jackson.